At the CES Technology Trade Show in Las Vegas, flying cars and self-driving automobiles always draw interest, but this year electric recreational boats are creating more of a stir. A 28-foot, 8.5-meter, electric-powered hydrofoil speedboat from the Swedish business Candela was shown on Thursday. It has a two-hour range at a speed of 20 knots, or about 23 miles per hour. Although Candela is further advanced in getting its products to customers, California company Navier tried to outdo its Scandinavian rival by bringing an electric hydrofoil that is a little bit longer. Even Brunswick Corporation, a manufacturer of recreational motorboats, tried to make a statement this week in Nevada by showcasing its newest electric outboard motor, an expanding market for its primarily gas-powered fleet. The Associated Press was informed by Navier CEO Samupriti Bhattacharya last month that you can have a wine glass and it does not spill. And it's quite peaceful, very silent. In contrast to a gas boat, you can talk to someone. 150 of the company's brand new C8 model have already been sold and produced, according to Candela CEO Gustav Hasselskog. As it gets ready to ramp up manufacturing, the Stockholm-based business has been growing its personnel from 60 employees a year ago to roughly 400 later this year. Regarding Candela's initial clients, Hasselskog remarked, they tend to be entrepreneurs. They tend to be, if you like, tech enthusiasts with an upbeat outlook on the future and technology's potential to address all manner of societal issues. Sergey Brin, the co-founder of Google, is one of Navier's investors, so he's presumably also getting one. Most likely not. According to Truist Securities analyst Michael Swartz, who tracks the pleasure boat sector, these early electric boat models are pricey, cumbersome, and may cause more severe range anxiety than what people have experienced with electric automobiles. How risky is it for me to venture out in an electric outboard engine miles from land, during the middle of the week, when no one is around? Said Swartz. You don't have an electric boat that can travel 50 miles offshore, fish for a few hours, and then return, according to Swartz. Without an internal combustion engine, there is no technology that can enable you to mimic that sensation. In order to compete with the gas-powered vehicles that currently ferry commuters around crowded areas like the Stockholm Archipelago or along San Francisco Bay, Candela and Navier are both developing a secondary market of electric ferries. The 30-passenger catamaran prototype that might be operating in Sweden by the summer, according to Hasselskog, will be powered by the same technology that Candela's new pleasure boat is using. To replace the current fleet, they need about 220 of these electric vessels, claimed Hasselskog. Additionally, the smaller electric vehicles might be able to be called upon as needed, similar to how Uber or Lyft operate on land, rather than operating on fixed timetables with vacant seats. Many of the businesses creating electric boat propulsion also have teams researching more autonomous versions of these boats. The self-driving innovation is concentrated on what happens at the marina, though, as the majority of recreational boaters enjoy operating their own vessels and the majority of ferry passengers probably prefer a human captain at the wheel.